good. I love his microphone. I feel like Gene Rayburn from that old uh, game show here. Uh, but uh, we're outside here in the parking lot. And I got Perry and Brian from Absolute Control Dog Training. I got Turbo here, but I've got Kimbo out there, and that's Perry's. Uh, that's Perry's dog, and and Kimbo was a rescue, and we brought Kimbo out because Kimbo was a rescue where the owner said, "Look, he can't be trained. I, I don't, I'm giving up on this dog." And, and Perry said, uh, "Not so fast." Now, um, one of the things he had told me that the uh, dog was deemed untrainable, and when I did uh, you know, respond to his home, offered him a training package, and he was convinced the dog was untrainable. Uh, as you see him sitting out there, he's got about 42 hours of training in him right now. He's been sitting out in the field, I don't know, five, six minutes, just sitting there waiting for a command. Yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not a perfect dog, but his ability to learn, I found, uh, after working with him, was just... Uh, absolutely incredible yeah. um, that you know I taught him how to focus um, you know do uh, uh, some things that just showing that I could have fun with this dog and he'll do anything I ask of him. Yeah, yeah it's really impressive I saw you doing yeah. a few uh, a, a few maneuvers with him now uh, Keith I want to I want Perry to give some commands and we have are we catching Kimbo on the field there yeah. all right great so why don't we uh, showcase some, some of the uh, I will okay. take the microphone right there yep how far are you going down Sit. Kimbo. Place. Place. Heel. Place. Sit. Sit. Down. Down. Sit. Back place. Place. Back place. Sit. What I'm doing is showing that uh, the structure is the board here. It's only a two foot by two foot board. And what I do with each dog is teach them. You'll notice that I was maneuvering myself around the board and the dog was staying on it. There's a puppy barking in front of him. Um, and you see that Kimbo is still totally focused um, on everything that I'm doing. I make the dog very voice conscious. Um, there's no screaming, hollering. I'm never using the word no. Um, I talk very soft tones to the dog. Um, and I let him know every time he's uh, done something right. Just remember, it's always easier to teach your dog what you want your dog to do than to correct them for what they've done wrong. Um, and he understands that. If he makes a mistake at any time, whether we're filming here or not, um, I don't worry about it. I remember that he's a dog, and I just uh, ask of him to give me the uh, right command. So I'm going to take him. I'm going to move him through the field a little bit. Back place. Good. I'll take that for a second. Sure. Kimbo. This is absolutely unbelievable. So again, I want to mention that the owner thought that this dog was untrainable, and Perry is just demonstrating how he was able to really break that down. And and, and this dog, Kimbo, I think we're, we think he's named after Kimbo Slice. He's fantastic. How well behaved and, 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 and listening and following every command. Now I've got Izzy and Turbo over here and they're like chomping at the bit. They, they, they are seeing how Kimbo is. This is, this is phenomenal, Perry. There's no, you see that there's absolutely no hollering and screaming. I'm actually telling him everything that I uh, want him to do. Everything that he does, whether it's play or anything, is an act of obedience. So right now, I'm going to release him from command and then bring him back into command if you watch this. Break. He goes over, he socializes. Kimbo, come, place. Sit. Okay, so what I did is I released him from command. He went over, socialized with the dog. Uh, I'm, I'm his leader. I says, okay, that's good enough. No screaming and hollering. Dog comes back to place. Great if you're in the dog park. Um, you know, dogs are, you know, you're trying to get your dog back. He's too busy playing, chasing the leaf, chasing the ball. Uh, he's giving you the paw. Um, what I'm doing with him is, is giving him commercials uh, or giving him uh, commands. You know, all right, this is what you're going to do now. This is what you're going to do now. And this is what you're going to do now. Um, I, if uh, we have a moment, uh, i show you an act of obedience. Uh, we'll, sh we'll show turning him on, what he's capable of doing, yeah. um, and turning him off. And, and um, I'm going to do uh, what would be a, like a little protection drill with him. Uh, we're going to do a little pr a protection and then immediately put him back um, into an obedience drill. Okay. All right? So this is really easy, folks. SouthJerseyDogTraining.com. You can get in touch with Perry and Brian, and uh, you can, you, your dog can act like this.
All right, so Perry has decided to wear the sleeve. I have gotten off the hook here. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Come on, Mark. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm going to let the professional handle it, Bri. <laughs> So I've never seen this before in action. And to me, it is just fascinating and phenomenal that he has got such control over this dog that it, that dog isn't doing anything without Perry's instruction. Well, look at look at the focus of Kimbo on Perry at all times. and But there's a command that Perry's going to show because he's saying it's an act of obedience. And once Perry will say, you know, eventually he's going to say, hey, break, and, and Kimbo's going to do whatever Kimbo wants to do. So, yeah. I, you can see how fast you can make look. You can see how fast it's it's over. Yeah. Meaning, um, even though I told him to get me, it was purely an act of obedience and not aggression. But he's biting me just as hard. Right. He's fighting me. Um, but when I tell him it's over, it's over. And that's that's the type of dog we train. And it's right. and it's phenomenal because then the dog is able to discern right. from when it's appropriate to be to be right. in those actions. Right. Everything everything comes from me. Now, I, I wanted to mention, Perry, because we had talked a little bit about it off camera, about an older dog that's starting to show signs yeah. uh, of, of just poor behavior. And it could be anything from uh, chewing furniture or, or begging excessively. What's yeah. happening there with this older dog? Here, here's what happens. Dogs go through stages in their life. Um, and it's not uncommon for somebody whose dog's been uh, great, and all of a sudden, age 11, they have uh, some behavioral issues. Um, I still go in. I'm not going to do the full obedience uh, program on a dog. The dog's 11 years old. But I will go in and do those behavioral modifications and show people how to fix that, okay, so that the, the, the uh, conflict is gone between owner and a dog. Um, and that's why when we offer obedience package, I make it for the life of the dog. I'm going to get the dog done fairly quickly, but I know the dog's going to go through changes. You may bring a dog to me that's a year old. You know, we get the dog done after so many lessons. Yeah, well, when he's two years old, he's going to be doing different things. Right. Right? So right. what we want to do is make sure that you always have that dog. We adjust it. Sometimes it takes minutes. And just show, showing the uh, handler, this is what needs to be done. This is how we correct this. Yeah. And every dog's different, you know, because they act, just like people, they'll have their little quirks or whatever. Right. And you deal with it. Well, I think it's important to mention because, you know, the young lady that, that I'm friends with, her, she didn't give the option of training. Her option was... A or B, and it, it wasn't like she even explored the option right. of training right. an older dog. Right, and and it, and and we do offer that. Um, there's people that uh, come to us that um, I look at that dog and and they're just interested in a behavioral modification. I set them up a program and I say, look, you know what? I think I can get this done in four lessons. If I don't get that done in four lessons and it takes me five or six, it's on me. Right. Because now I look at. Well, it's, it's up to me to get that, that straightened out, and I told her I would get it done. I don't, I don't charge people anymore. Right. I'm going to get the dog done because I love doing it. But you know what? Hey, whenever your job's your hobby, you got to make yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's right. You don't, work a, you don't work a day in your life. Right. That's exactly what it is. It's, uh, it, it's really a fantastic thing. And, um, you know, I, I kind of see the dynamic between the pups that Brian, ha the, right. that Brian has and, and Kimbo here. And, you know, I, I know that uh, that Keith is watching me, but I think maybe we need to get these two over to Absolute Control yeah. Dog Training. Yeah, they, uh, they could use a little work. Just for a couple, just for a couple, I think, quick lessons. You know, they're not badly behaving dogs. No. But no. there's certain behaviors that I feel like you're looking at that you could really correct very quickly. You know what? Both of them are, were very neutral. Uh, they're very well-balanced dogs. When people approach, uh, when I approached them this morning, first time I met them, uh, they gave me a really nice greet. Uh, you know, which was great. Um, I'm watching. I'm watching the excitement when they see another dog. You'll see that Kimbo basically um, ignored them uh, right. because he was under under command. He's very playful. If they were in a park right now and I just let him rip, he's running around playing like a normal dog. And that's what's good about this. I actually, you can control everything. Um, uh, when I took him out in the field, you know, he had to relieve himself. That was my command. You know, I gave him the command. Frick. And everybody says, oh, you're the guy, the dog, relieves himself on command. Not really. He's free of command. Now it's time to do it. Right. Uh, kind right. Of thing. He has the opportunity uh, to do he it. He has the opportunity. Yeah. Um, so he knows that's his time. All right. But now we're doing obedience, and we're getting right right back on. Um, so it's it's going into the dog park. You're under obedience. You get in the dog park. You give the dog a command to break. He runs. He's playing whatever. Now it's time to go. Kimbo, come. Yeah. End of story. It's really fantastic what you guys do over there at Absolute Control Dog Training. And, and I think that people need to understand that 
you know, Perry is the top professional in the area and that he can turn a dog where the owner said, look, this dog's not trainable to the most well-trained dog. Yeah, that's about 42 hours, something like that of training. I, got I mean, really, if you break it down, it's just a, it's just a couple days yeah. that, that you spent with this dog. You know, you know, I, you know, he gets trained. When I'm doing demos like this, you know, I'm like the carpenter whose house is falling down. Right, right, right. I'm training everybody else's dog but my own. <laughs> so when I get to come out, this is my opportunity to put my dog through training. Yeah. Um, and and believe it or not, this is how I build it up. You know, a little bit. I, you know, I'm running a class. I bring him out in the class. Sometimes I use him for a distraction. I'll tell you what else I use him for. And this is very important, folks out there. Your dog is dog aggressive. What you want to do is train an, a, a dog that's dog aggressive around a well-trained dog. What happens is it relieves all that anxiety that, oh, this dog's not going to attack me. Right. Now all of a sudden, I teach them, look, nothing ever happens to you when you're on this two foot by two foot area. My dog's running by, you know, and I use him. He's, he's like, he's my test dog. He's, he's actually training these dogs to be friendly around other dogs. And think about it. They're only responsible for that two foot by two foot area. Eventually I give them their world back. But nothing ever happened to him. I built confidence on the board. Yeah, and that, that's, that's, a, that's a secret to it's, it. It's phenomenal. And yeah. is there also a scenario that the dog almost has an example? He has a good example to follow, and right. he, he's not going to be the one to ruffle right. your feathers. You know, right? I, I have a very uh, aggressive German Shepherd, uh, female German Shepherd, that comes to our class. And the uh, first time I, I saw the dog, you know, the dog tried to rip my face off. And uh, we had lesson number two last night, um, and I was playing fetch with, with, the, uh, with the dog. And what happened was the dog had lacked some social skills, playing and stuff like that, let it run in the arena, and all of a sudden the dog realizes, oh, this isn't bad. And while I'm training the dog, I have um, uh, distraction devices. You know, I have sheets, you know, like a, like a bullfighter would have, and I'm throwing things around. Right. And after a while, the dog gets very used to it. I have cardboard boxes uh, blind by bank, blank guns going off. I make that their world. It's never going to be that bad. Right. So what I do is I take the dog up here, knowing that it's not going to be that bad, and the dog gets used to all that, and it really mellows the dog out. It's such a great approach, and it's a fantastic thing that you got going on over there. Absolute control, do <laughs> Absolute control dog training. And, uh, and Perry, it was good to see yep. you again. Thank you so much. Brian, I want to talk to you for one minute um, real quickly about some of, the, some of the things you have going on over there, and especially the... Uh, the ongoing training. So just take a few minutes and, and, and say whatever you like here. I'll take the dogs. Sure. We'll switch it off. So, so right now we have a lot of programs that are going on and they're going in full swing. We have our group basic obedience program, which is uh, highly attended and very popular. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of uh, <clears throat> other programs there. We have a 161 club, which is simulated scenarios, uh, which is a very uh, popular club with a lot of folks. But I think it's important that you guys, if you have a problem with your dog or you're experiencing a behavioral issue, to definitely, uh, as a first step, call someone like Perry and our, our outfit or someone like us to go out and to, to do a free evaluation. Hopefully us, I think you've seen an illustration of what we can do. And as a first step, that's gonna launch you into a very nice and comfortable uh, uh, bonding relationship with your dog. It's gonna have plenty of uh, great moments and. Uh, that's what we try to achieve here is to make the, the owner, the dog much tighter and the family much much happier and, and everyone uh, you know with an obedient dog and, and that you're gonna have for hopefully many years. Uh, you know, we, we have all the tool sets to help you and the personality to do that. Thank you, Mark. You're quite welcome. This is fantastic, Brian, and I wish uh, you know you guys continued success over there at Absolute Control Dog Training. Listen folks, get out there and check them out. That ten thousand square foot facility is uh, is fantastic and I don't know if you see what's happening here. Perry, we got Perry, in, in, in a matter of 30 seconds, has Izzy calm, sitting on the platform there. And uh, Turbo, you're wrapped on my microphone here. All right, we gotta take, we're going to take another quick break here on Morning Coffee. I want to thank Absolute Control Dog Training for coming in again. Make sure you check them out at SouthJerseyDogTraining.com. And uh, we're going to take a quick break here on Morning Coffee, but don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to be right back. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. 